All right, coming up next, it's a light heavyweight tilt between Mauricio Shogun Hua and Ovin St. Pru. Well, I'm excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kicks. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arms with high kick after high kick after high kick. And as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. Here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight. And he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out. But he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker, one of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. And now our tale of the tape for this light heavyweight fight. The American is 37, the Brazilian is 38. St. Pru is two inches taller. He will have a four inch reach advantage. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 25 wins, 16 losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Knoxville, Tennessee, USA, Ovitz St. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 27 wins, 12 losses, and one draw. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Curitiba, Brazil, And when the action begins, a referee in charge, Eve Levine. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? You ready? All right, so we got two classically trained strikers here. Any chance this fight actually goes to the ground? This fight does not go to the ground. This one will be fought in the pocket. Two guys will stand in front of each other. They will trade punches. They will trade kicks. It's going to be a classic matchup that you normally see inside of a ring. We get it in the octagon tonight. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Oh! Taking some big shots here now from St. Pru. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Oh, and he lands yet another uppercut. So those strikes have come in punches tonight, really starting to find some consistency. He's finding consistency because he knows that that is a strike that he can find at any time. He's so confident in finding that uppercut that it's landing over and over again. So just over 20 total strikes. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. 
stuffs the takedown there. How good is this takedown defense? Oh, big knee! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. Do you believe it? He's done. He's done. What a performance! Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught that ultimately appeared as though the outcome was an eventuality. So if you're the referee, you got to protect the fighter, and I thought he did a good job of doing just that. DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're gonna get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you gotta show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. With that, we now go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeBing has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 25 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Ovis St. And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. And he